So this is what's gonna go inside of my stoma. That is amazing. That is so cool. We've never actually been able to see what it's like. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How's that upload working? Uh, it is working. It worked this time. Sometimes it doesn't work. We've woken, we've vested and misted and edited and yoga and <laughs> um, on to some lunch, some pregame fuel. Because what's today? Today is feeding tube button change. We've got it all ready to go right here. And I think we're actually going to film it the same way we filmed our um, port accessing video. It was at an, another house we were staying at, but I laid on a table for the port accessing video. So I think we might do that for this video as well because we think that I should be laying down. That's how the surgeon had me lay, they, they had me laid down the last time we changed the button. And um, so I don't know, maybe if I'm sitting up, all my guts will spill out. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> Not really. I don't think it works quite like that. Not quite. But anyway, so I'm gonna lay on the table and we are going to change my feeding tube. Alright guys, we're getting ready to change Mary's feeding tube button and we've got a camera set up. We we're going all out here, you know? We even had Mary swallow a camera and we had to time this just right because it right when I, the camera would get to her to June them. I'm just kidding. Alright, we are but we wanna show you guys the process because um I don't know. Because it's our we're, first time. It's our first time, and we find it kind of fascinating. And maybe maybe you have a feeding tube, or uh, maybe you're just curious, or whatever else. We're going to show you what it's like. And I'm <laughs> having some sugar before because my blood sugar is dropping. Got it. But before I went in to have my feeding tube switched out for the first time, I went on YouTube and looked for a feeding tube button change out because I wanted to see what it was like. So if you're getting ready to change your own at home for the first time, there you go. And uh, we, we did, this is Mary's second, or I guess it's your third button. You got the one in surgery, mm -hmm. and then the surgeon changed it in the office. And we like barely caught that on camera. Um, so it is really quick, so. So we'll, don't blink. Yeah, don't blink. Okay, we're gonna show you. But we should rewatch my first one so we do it right. Oh, good idea. Oh! Just pulled it out. <laughs> <laughs> Instant replay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't give me any warning. Put okay, the so the little jelly stuff on it. Okay. And then. So just leave the hole where it is and. Yep. Yeah. Just stick it in. Pull the blue thing out. It's easy peasy. All right, just washed my hands. I'm gonna put some gloves on once so, I lay down, maybe. Yeah. So Mary's gonna do this. I'm gonna help her, but she's uh she's able because it's. Kind of a, just a simple procedure. So yeah, this is how it comes. Um, they've got some fancy reading material, and this you, is the real goods. In case you get bored, you can read the reading material. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Well, I think what I was so surprised about when we changed it at the surgeon's office, it's not a sterile thing at all. Yeah. Could you actually grab me a pillow? I mean, it's a clean, like... Mary's gonna put gloves on and it just doesn't have to be sterile like a port. Yeah, it's very interesting. So there, so I use the mini AMT mini one balloon button. Mine is a 12 French 1.5 centimeter balloon button. Maybe I should wait till my blood sugar comes up. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Here we go. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna open this surgical tray. And I am going to grab the balloon filler upper syringe. So you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna test this new balloon and make sure that it's functioning. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some distilled water into my syringe. I'm gonna get air out, okay. I have two mLs in my syringe and I'm just gonna test the new balloon. So this is what's gonna go inside of my stoma, and then here's what the balloon is like inside. So the balloon is just a... Uh, Are you close up? I'm gonna get closer, hang on. Look at that. It's just a thing to hold it in place. 
That is amazing. That is so cool. We've never actually been able to see what it's like. So then I'm going to take the syringe out and that's what it's like inside of me. So basically there's two channels into the feeding tube button. Yep. The, the one is for the water, for the balloon. This, this channel right here. And it's just to fill up that, it's basically an anchor for the feeding tube. Right. So my abdomen is what's in between here. Mm -hmm. And then this top part is where my feed actually goes through. And so it goes actually down. There's a channel in the middle of the balloon that the feed actually goes through and comes out of. And um, so the feed is, it doesn't go into the balloon ever. Yep. It's kind of like an apple core. The core is where the feed goes through, and the apple is what holds it in. Yeah. Well, so. looks like the balloon works. Awesome. So we're going to deflate the balloon, and this is actually what we're going to do to Mary's old one here in a second before we take it out. Yes, that's a good thing to point out. And this is what I do every Wednesday. Um, I deflate my balloon, but leave the button in place because I'm supposed to check that the amount of water I put in is the same amount at the end of the week. I'm going to set the button back in the tray. I'm going to go ahead and open up this jelly packet because that's what I'm going to need once the button's out of me, right? Yep. So open that up. And I'm just going to actually put a little bit onto this gauze so that I don't have to like be fooling around with it. I'm gonna have this gauze ready for my hole because it might leak a little bit. And I'm going to put the, what did they call this? Um, Core? Stem? What did they call that? Guide. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like a guide. Um, yeah, so the blue part is stiff so that when I'm putting it into my stoma, it's it just slides right in. So, so I, I put, put that, that in, and I'm okay. good. So the first step is to take the water out of my previous balloon. When she puts a syringe on, the water just basically pushes right out. Yeah. I've been doing two and a half mLs of water, and that's what I got out. Okay, so now it's basically just the deflated feeding tube stuck in her. So. I'm actually going to go ahead and fill my syringe up so that it's ready. Good idea. So I've, I emptied out the old water. Okay. Okay, that's ready. I'm still shaking a little just from my blood sugar being bad, but anyway. Maybe I'll go ahead and put the jelly on this thing. Oh, warning. The inside of my feeding tube is going to be brown because of the, like, acidity or whatever, like the stomach acid, even though it's in my jejunum, my jejunum acid, I guess. My jejunal juices, as I say. So if you don't want to see, like, brown, then don't look. But otherwise, here we go. Now, if I remember correctly, the first time when he pulled it out, when he pulled it out, I was like startled. It kind of felt like an IV falling out of me. Um, but he was like, it tickles a little. And I was thinking in my mind, that was not a tickle. But let's, let's see how it feels this time. There it is. Totally fine. Didn't, it didn't hurt at all. Awesome. So it's just like a little piercing. Yep. Here, you want to put the old one in here. Okay. And I've got my water ready, and so there's my hole. Yep. Look at that. And the new one just slides right in. Okay, that was so easy. And then pull the blue part out. I think. Yep. And then water. So it's filling up that apple, the inside part, just like we saw before. And now I'm done. It's secure and ready to go. So now I'm going to hook up my extension and flush it and make sure everything's good. All is well. Look at that. Good to go. Awesome! 
I just went and rechecked my blood sugar and it hadn't come up with five of these sugar things. So I'm eating more and um, I guess that's why my hands are still shaking because my blood sugar hadn't come up yet. But anyway, eating some sugar. And I have a nurse friend who I was talking to last night and I told her, oh, I'm gonna change my feeding tube tomorrow. She was like, you should boil the old feeding tube and put it into a stuffed animal. So boil it for sanitary reasons and then put it into a stuffed animal. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Ooh la la. I'm crying. You're crying? Yeah. Because of the onions? Yeah. We are making some, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Asian beef lettuce wraps. With that lettuce we got at the farm the other day. Yeah, that's what inspired it. And you have the rice cooker going. So what does that number mean? It doesn't mean anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> now that the ground beef is cooked, Peter separated it and he's putting cilantro and pepper flakes in his and mine will be plain. So we just did sesame oil, soy sauce, ginger, garlic, Salt and pepper. Hey! You did the fun part. Oh man. <laughs> I know you were trying to help. <laughs> I was just vacuuming this floor and I was like, there's no way. I started feeling shaky again. So I just tested and I'm starting to drop again. So we are actually about to eat. And um so hopefully that'll get me back up. I don't know why it's um keep dropping. I'm gonna drink some sugar or something because I'm trying to talk. It's not working great. Okay. Oh boy. Some dabs when her blood sugar drops. It's like, get some sugar in that girl. What did you say to them? We love our rice that comes out of this rice cooker. We love it so much. I think the rice itself is actually important as well. We get this like medium grain. Is it Japanese rice? Here, I can show you the rice package. We love this rice. So Peter decided to have a salad with the rice and the meat on top. Yummy. Bon appetit. And I just realized if you are new around here or if you haven't heard the reason why I have a feeding tube, we will link a video that explains it in the iCards for you because you're probably thinking she's eating dinner and she has a feeding tube. How does that work? So. There's that, and I'm actually gonna go hook up my feeding tube because apparently my blood sugar is needing some extra help today. So I'm gonna go hook that up when I'm done eating, and hopefully that'll keep me stable. What are you laughing about? So we boiled the um, old feeding tube. Are you a little confused why we have this? This was going to be Oliver's toy, but he never played with it. So we're taking you're, it back. You're lost, buddy. You can get a different toy. I'll find a different one. So I put water in and it is so squishy and delightful if you like squishy things. But it is stained yellow because of the feeding tube, the stomach juices. But um but it is clean. It's it was sterile until I touched it. Um so anyway, I'm gonna take the So we are hey buddy, we're gonna give you a little surgery. I'll put it in the right side because that's where mine is. Okay. All right. Is this how they did it when they put yours in? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is pretty accurate. Okay. It, uh, there was definitely, this we, is exactly we, how it went. We gave him anesthesia, don't worry. Yeah. I actually remember going, when I was probably like 11 years old, going to the infusion center at the hospital where I grew up. Mm -hmm. And the infusion nurses had a baby doll with a port. Oh, that is cool. And so I'm sure there's another stuffed animal out there in the medical world that has um, a feeding tube, but this will be our. Oh, cool! Look at that. <laughs> All right, fill it up. Okay, there it is, Tommy the feeding tube turtle. So you named it Tommy? Apparently. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we've got Bible study tonight, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog and say, as, as always, we, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Don't and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. And why don't you also hit the bell? Everybody, buddy, hit the bell.